what it is to view welcome back to the channel ladies and gents uh early morning man we out here at 7 20 a.m on a saturday man i'm supposed to be napping but today we got a good excuse today we're going down to i don't know how to pronounce it for you californians or whoever stays here van van nice van nice van van news I don't know, somewhere down in California. I'm just gonna follow the, the other two guys. And we're rolling with Mike and the GT500, the modded blue GT500, and David and his intake only uh, GT500. And we're just going to get some dyno numbers. I'm going because I want to see what the car puts down on the E80 tune, because I still don't know. You guys have heard me say it plenty of times. Uh, the screen says 900, but that's, that's just a placeholder. I, I really don't know what it makes. We really don't know what it makes. Um, I'm gonna guess high sevens. That's what I'm gonna guess. Mike's already <laughs> he's ready to freaking go. He's like, damn, what the motherfucker's that? Uh, but I'm gonna guess high sevens for me. The GT500. I'm gonna say mid, low to mid eights. Um, the white GT500, the intake only one. I'm gonna say. Uh, man, what's, what are what the stock ones made? Like high sixes? Oh, no. Can't do that one. I should have backed up and parked on the other side of them. I'm going to say high sixes for the for the other GT500. I got to learn what, where my new camera is. I'm, I'm shooting on my new, my new phone, guys, so I got to learn how to work this thing. It's my first time trying it out. But anyway, uh, put this thing in park. Oh, look. David's here, too. Neat. So let's hop out. Let's say what's up. And let's go ahead and hit this road, man. It should be a fun day. I'm still on my, I can't play around. These guys can do all the playing they want to. I can't play around. I actually got my other drag radio in yesterday. So it should be a fun time once we actually get these things mounted up. But if you guys know, with the 315, 50, 17s, there's a little bit of modifications we've got to do to the inner wheel wells to get those things to feel like, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, I'm shooting here. All right, guys, let's get out real quick. Let's go say what up and let's hit this road. <laughs> What's happening, guys? What's up, boss man? Uh, Scoochie fellas. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Look at him, boy. This should be a fun day. So we all three got dyno spots reserved. It's 150 for three pulls. Uh, I'm just truly curious. He's truly curious. Uh, he's We've never been on dyno, so we don't know what these things put down. Obviously, in the highest uh, the e85 uh tune that one put down 925 on that dyno that was with hotter temperatures everything else yada 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 if they have actually i don't think i'll be able to run enough fuel out by the time i get there either way doesn't matter we're just going for the e80 tune so his is an email tune he wants to go back and get like a actual dyno tune so they actually see some numbers and maybe extract something else out of them because you know i'll know with the email tune sometimes they aren't they, 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 they aren't the, the, the strongest tunes, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're usually relatively safe. And with a dyno tune, you can sit there, you can actually see what's going on, you can feel the car. And sometimes they're a little bit better, you know, just depends on the case. In our case, the email tune worked out for him. And, but it sounds like he wants to go back. All right, we get you, we get you. It's always the slowest people who drive the fastest, what I tell you guys. But uh, anyway, it should be an interesting day, man. Fun drive down there, for sure and gonna be good to see the numbers. I didn't realize they had the same wheels. Look at that, man. Never did I ever see myself being able to hang out with the freaking, the kids who have GT500s. Man, long, long way up from them, them Ford Fusion days. No way in hell I could keep up and play around and, and, and hang out with GT500 kids in a Ford Fusion. You guys don't remember that. Obviously, my channel wasn't started. Hell, even even the, the, the Charger RT days, my little 5.7 days, man. No way in hell I can keep up and play around with 500 GT500s. Whether it was the old ones, the new ones, it don't matter, man. My little 5.7 didn't stand a chance. Couldn't tell me shit, though. I thought that motherfucker was the fastest thing in the world. But now here I am hanging out with the damn GT500s. Checking back in. Uh, I 
think we're getting close now. So we're finally off of the freeways. It's a fun drive down, that's for sure. No one wanted to mess with us until uh, I think a scat pack showed up right as we were taking our exit. Like, are you serious, bro? <laughs> like an hour and a half drive down here and now you want to fucking show up? Had a C63 AMG roll up on us, but he, he just cruising. He's like, nope, nope, nope. It's like, damn man, why y'all even buy these cars? Like, just just get a regular fucking C class. <laughs> Don't get an AMG if you ain't trying to let that bitch talk. All right, guys, we're all here. GT500 is up first. Probably gonna let the other GT500 go second, and then I'll be last. But he had a couple cool cars, and I didn't get to record because my Android Auto was acting stupid. That thing over there, I wish you guys could have heard that one start up. In his other car. Yeah, that GTO, big tire GTO, or is it small tire? I can't tell. Bigger tires than I got. And then this here Cougar, golly, man, I did not look at this thing when he was pulling it out. This is too clean. Holy. Just look at it. Look at the interior. Bro, this thing is too clean. How many miles is on it? That can't be right. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. 728 miles. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. 728 miles. I refuse to believe it. Man, but, I mean, looking at it, 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 it might be true. Jesus Christ, 700. How do you not drive your car? This is 100% a weekend cruiser, man. Through and through. Not even a weekend cruiser, like a monthly cruiser. high sevens like I said 781 seven it said 788 on the screen I guess he went and adjusted some stuff and it's looking like 781 but that was run one so we're gonna see what they pull out of it the next two runs and once again he's not doing any tuning right now he's just getting some dyno runs in just to see what number she puts down and with what he's putting down that makes sense cuz I've been saying for the longest that mine's on the e80 tune I think it's making high sevens I'm pretty sure it's making sevens. And when we compared the draggy times, he's like a nose ahead of me. So I've been saying high sevens on my car. So for his to put down 780, that 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 lines up exactly what the, what the draggy times have been saying and exactly what I've been saying about my car. So I'm assuming I'll make similar power. I'm gonna say mid sevens because like I said, he's still just a hair ahead of me according to the draggy times. And once again, that's the E80 tune slash 900 horsepower on the screen that you guys have seen me in doing like every damn video so the mods are because i know you guys are going to ask the mods on the gt500 are 285 upper no lower e85 injectors um stock fuel pump if i'm not mistaken injectors for sure pulley for sure and e85 for sure what was that first run in 788 no, what uh, fourth gear. Fourth gear. Yeah. All right, you got so the first gear was in four, or the first run was in fourth gear. This one's in fifth gear.
Seven eighty eight run one, seven sixty four run two. So that time I had to set y'all down so I could cover my damn ears. 785, that's just heating it at this point. Oh look, I don't have any problems. Look at that, look at that. I don't have any problems. You got me good. You got me oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you got me good. Oh man. <laughs> Alrighty folks, she's getting strapped down. She's up on the lift and it's the most beautiful thing. I didn't have to worry about, you know, scrubbing or scraping or anything because we're on stock ride height. It's it's awesome. I don't, not having to worry about catching every little bump and grind and thing in the road. So beautiful. So uh, predictions, I'm going with 750 just for to cut the middle ground. At least that's what I'm hoping. You know what I'm saying? If it goes more than that, that's cool. If not, then oh well. I know what it does in the big deal. Oh, boy, I was like, what the fuck is that? This fan over there or something. Your converter locked up. Oh. That's what that was. Okay. Your converter locked up. That's what that is. That makes sense. Now it locked up mm -hmm. and it tried to recover on the lock up. Okay. That's what that is. That's not a spin. Just kidding. We weren't spinning. Yeah. Uh, it kind of like felt like a shift point. You uh -huh. know, like when the lock up came in so far. Okay. So how do you avoid the lock up? Is it just. You have to have you know, the computer guy, you know, like go in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't quite get there yet, you know, like that. Let's see, we got a download more reading, 860. That's insane. Because see, it spools slower. You want me to try the, your last one on fifth gear? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's try that. So, try to do the old combat. Okay. All right. So, we're just going to try to cut the middle at fifth gear. Because online it says the one to one is six gear. I thought that was the gear you wanted to be in. I guess I should have just asked Tommy, hey man, what, what gear we dyno in this bitch in? I probably should have asked him that the first time he threw it on the dyno. But uh, we're gonna try the fifth gear. I, I think I think fifth gear is right because I feel like somewhere deep down in the archives of my old little brain, I feel like I've heard people say fifth gear is the gear to be in for the dyno. So we're gonna try the fifth gear, see what happens.
fight them right now. Like, so, see there. Okay, there we go. See, see in between both. That was there. This was there. All right, that 860. makes sense. 860, yeah. 855 is that spike. Okay. You know, you don't get, it went to 7th gear, 5th, uh, 6th gear. When it okay. shifts, yep. it does a spike like okay. that. Okay. Makes sense. There you go, guys. 860. And 5th. 860. One more here. 858. Then the 858. And then the 851. Right here. 851. Alright. I'm satisfied with that. That makes a lot more damn sense. <laughs> Some way for you from up there too. Yep, we're all we all stay in the same town. town. City. Yep. Actually, let me turn this bitch on. Try to drive off. I ain't got a damn car started. He wanted me to punch it. I tried to record that for you guys, but the my little stand wasn't having that. So traffic's pretty crazy. So I'm not I'm not trying to do too much recording. I'll probably just turn the camera around whenever the road opens up, because that's when we start driving, you know, normally. And that's a little more entertaining to watch. So if the road opens up, not with all this freaking traffic, then I, I, I gotta get this camera out of the way real quick because uh, I can't see my damn rear, my passenger side rear view. But uh, I'll turn the camera on whenever we get into open roads and we're not stuck in so much freaking traffic because this is annoying, bro. Oh my god. I did just have a burger last night. That's a shame because can't get anything else, huh? Oh, you're tripping, tripping. You see this? Y'all see this? Tripping, tripping. Let me just put it out in traffic. Hope nobody cleans me up. Bugging, bro. What are you gonna stop now for us, doofus? Go. Oh, look at that. 458. Oh, R8. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we're not gonna chase that. We're not gonna chase that. Oh, my. We gotta chase that. Oh, I think we're chasing it. to the wheels 
and I'm I'm a happy camper. So now I know what it actually makes in each setting, except the the 91 tune. I'm not gonna do that one because you're not supposed to floor it in the 91 tune or the 91 setting. So I won't be doing that one. But as far as the 900 and the kill tune go, um, yeah, they make pretty stout numbers. So 925 and 100 degree heat on their dyno in Arizona and 860 on the dyno here and 70 degree heat so you know that could play a part elevation could play a part but 860 to 925 respectively i think those are pretty stout numbers and i'm pretty impressed with the old girl and uh uh as i was saying before my camera cut off now we just got to figure out or not really figure out we just got to freaking get the power to the ground that's our biggest hindrance right now is putting the power to the ground we got the 315 50 17s shout out to dragracingwheels.com they shipped me another one asap and finally got me a replacement it arrived tuesday or thursday or wednesday i can't remember and now we just gotta get the old hoosiers off and the new mickeys on and get back there and figure out if we're how much we're rubbing and figure out how to uh, solve the rubbing problem because it's gonna rub i already know that enough rambling on i know i've been going on forever uh, if it's your first time stopping by, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you guys get a notification when these videos go up. So we're going to do the Instagram channel at load 376 low, all one word. I'll put it down in the description. Until next time, two of you, I am out. Peace.